Hi, my name is Abby. I wanted to tell you about safaris today. I'm very fortunate to have been on safari in South Africa and more recently Kenya on the Maasai Mara. Absolutely amazing experience that I can highly recommend. It really is a trip of a lifetime. From the moment that you land on the small private plane actually into the Maasai, surrounded by the animals, um, you just cannot describe the feeling. Um, it's one that you really must do. From then you're taken to luxury accommodation. In my case, um, it was on the river and the room was so luxurious with its own terrace and day bed. You could sit on the day bed and watch the hippos splashing around in the river outside um, and the crocodiles too. Um, moving on from that, the actual surroundings of the lodge um, are amazing. They look after you really well um, with the food and the drink and the rangers and guides are just outstanding. Um, you'll see from the truck the types of vehicles that they use, very safe and secure. Um, they really do know their knowledge is just knows no bounds. Um, you get the chance to see the big five there for sure, um, but a wide range of animals, zebras, giraffes, elephants, um, wildebeest, a cheetah. Um, we even saw a leopard, which is, is quite rare to see during the daytime. Um, when you go for lunch, they'll often prepare you a lunch outside, um, which again is just an experience. You're sitting in the wilderness on the plains of Africa, surrounded by animals, um, having a superbly prepared lunch. Um, again, it's these things, you know, these experiences money just can't buy, really. Um, I wouldn't hesitate to do it all again. Um, in Kenya as well, they do encourage you to go out and meet the local people, and I was fortunate enough to meet one of the local Maasai Mara tribes um, and visited the local school. Um, where it was so interesting to see the children who can speak very good English and they're learning um, with limited resources. Um, again, you know, who would get the chance to do that? And that's something that I would highly recommend just to immerse yourself in the local culture whilst you're there as well and maybe give something back to them if you can. When it comes towards the end of the day at Safari, generally you'll go out on two game drives and at the end of the day sit watching the sun go down with your favourite drink that again they will have prepared somewhere on the plains of Africa for you. So you can sit watching the sunset with a gin and tonic or a glass of wine and reflect on the day. Um, the rangers will sit there with you whilst you're doing this and answer any questions that you may have um, or what your hopes might be for the following day and the animals that you may wish to see. Um, again, you know, please do contact me if you've got any questions at all regarding this trip or something similar. It'd be great to hear from you and it's something that I can't recommend enough.